Murray Walker has died, uh, 90 or 90 something, and um, oh well, universally everyone's saying what a wonderful guy, yeah. what a fun guy, yeah. what a humble guy. Uh, now, the bit that I put a circle around, uh, that I used the highlighter pen on as I was in my mind, as I was listening to, you know, tributes, uh, was uh, this, um, someone said the funny thing, you know, he, uh, it was James Hunt, I think, um, you know, fellow commentator, and James Hunt was a racing car driver, and, um, and uh, I think it was James Hunt, and he said, um, the thing about Murray Walker is, like, he was an expert on Formula One, Murray Walker, uh, but he would get things wrong, you know, and he's out around the corner comes the Ferrari, you know, it'd better be the McLaren. <laughs> And, but the thing about um, Murray Walker and the, uh, one of the things that everyone loved about him was no one loved him making a mistake more than he did. You know? um, and, and the fact that he knew so much about Formula One uh, made it such that when he did make a mistake, he loves it all the more. You know, it's, it's like a uh, if you were an expert at, I don't know, engineering or something and you were trying you know like a, a brilliant engineer and you were changing the wheel on your car and you and, and and you and you tried to turn it the wrong way you know and you stripped the thread <laughs> you know Murray Walker in that situation would have laughed his head off you know because what were the chances of that I'm, I'm a brilliant engineer and I've done it the wrong way Whereas there's some other, there are other people who consider themselves experts at things, and if you challenge them, if you point out a mistake that they make in their area of expertise, um, they dig in, they double down, and all that sort of stuff. And I'll bet you that happens on social media, you know. Someone makes a faux pas, you know, makes a mistake or whatever, and all that sort of stuff. I always use social media because it's a good... Well, it's, it's, it's um, the go-to example these days. Um, and you can imagine, you know, there's some people, I'm sure, on social media uh, who, you know, if you say, and, and they say, oh, you know, the thing about World War II, you know, is it started because of boom, 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 you know what I mean? Whatever that might be, you know, you know because um, we were so tough on the Germans or something, you know. And then someone's in, oh, you are showing your lack of um, knowledge on history. It's actually because of about five different factors, you know. You go, oh, oh really? <laughs> I thought it was just that. And I love history. I can't believe I got that wrong. All right, that's funny. You know, that, 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 that'd that be the Murray Walker approach. Um, whereas there's other people that dig in and they, they want to be right, you know. But there are other people who want to be wrong for one reason or another. And Murray Walker was one of those people, I, I bet, who was always hoping, like he was, he, he was always getting, 99 times out of 100, he was getting things right. You know, because he's an expert at Formula One. So 99 times out of 100, he was getting things right. But what he was looking forward to was the one time that he was going to get something wrong. You know? Around the corner comes the Ferrari, you know, the Schumacher, you know. But it was um, Eden Senna. Uh, <laughs> actually, it was in a Ferrari too. Uh, see, I'm not an expert on Formula One. And I find that funny that I don't, can't even remember. I know Schumacher was in a Ferrari. What was Eden Senna in? I think a couple of cars. Uh, what did he get killed in? Can't remember. But I do know that he was flying along down the straight and he went to turn the wheel and the he, the steering wheel turned but the wheel didn't. Oh my god. Boom, dead. That was very sad. Now, um now, so uh so Murray Walker, he was looking forward to the moment where he would get something wrong because he could see that it was going to actually make the commentary. He, it, it amused him. He, he saw the comedy value in it. And, uh, well, I don't mind saying I like that as well. And, but scientists, for example, are a bit like that. 99 times out of 100, they get things right. But what scientists? And they see, they're cut from the same cloth. Um, what they're looking for is that one time in 100 where they do an experiment and it, you know, and they, hop, they hypothesize something and the experiment um, doesn't go the way they expect. What a scientist loves is to propose something as a fact. 
oh, well, you know, a, a hypothesized fact, you know, like, oh, you know, a fact pending further evidence and all that sort of stuff. All right, whatever. Scientists don't have facts, you know, they just have, um, you know, based on evidence to hand so far, you know, this is the trend. That's all fine, scientists ever say. Um, but scientists are cut from the same cloth as Murray Walker. He was kind of a scientist of the track and a comedian scientist of the track. Whereas an actual scientist, um, a scientist tends to get bored um, each time he or she or it discovers himself or herself or itself to be right. So if I, if I was a scientist and um, I said something about physics or what, E equals MC squared or whatever, you know, force equals mass times acceleration or whatever, and, um, and over and over and over again, you know, this was proving to be correct. And then one day, someone did an experiment and said, you know how you've been saying force equals mass times acceleration exactly all this time? I just did an experiment. It's not quite. You're not right. You're wrong. I said, is that, is that right? I'm, but I'm a, um, a famous, foremost, world famous scientist, physicist. Are you saying I'm wrong? And they say, yeah, you're wrong. And then, this, uh, you know, the true scientist says, Yes, that's what I, I love it. I want to be wrong. You know, and, there's a, and that's where scientists are a bit like Murray Walker. Uh, but they're doing it for an intellectual reason. And same goes with political scientists and all sorts of things and psychologists and all, all sorts of scientists. It's in the nature of science, science to, uh, for you to hope that you get something wrong because then you love that. You know, Murray Walker loved getting things wrong too. Um, Oh, but with him, it's, you know, it's a good opportunity for a new joke, you know. Um, but with scientists, yes, it's, um, that's, um, you want to be wrong. But even a scientist on an, you know, um, an accepted um, fact, um, you know, like, um, like E equals MC squared, you know, like if you get the most brilliant physicist in the world and he's giving a speech, um, to all the great physicists in the world, in the audience, and all that sort of stuff, and he says m equals e c squared. Oh, <laughs> I mean e equals m c squared. Whoops. <laughs> now, the sort of person you want to hang with is the guy that um, you know does think that's funny. You know, like even as he makes the mistake. You know, um, yeah, m equals e c squared. Uh, I mean, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Or worse still, the guy that's on the stage says M equals E C squared, you know. Um, and someone says in the audience, oh, excuse me, uh, don't you mean E equals M C squared? Don't you question me, I'm a great physicist. I think that's the way people are on uh, social media. Are you, a, are you the world's greatest physicist or am I? You know, don't question me, but you said M equals E C squared. Yeah, well, what I meant is, I, you see, you are hanging by the apron strings of symbolism. By M, I meant... M equals energy, you know. <laughs> this is the way some people are, you know. They they try and double down and dig out, you know. Um, and when I said E, I meant mass. So M equals EC squared. Energy equals mass times speed of light squared, you know. This is what I actually meant. So, you know, don't you question me. Um, and anyway, I'm the expert, you know. You can get that, you know. You can imagine someone who's an expert, on, a self-appointed expert on politics on... Um, social media, for example, and someone pulls them up on, you know, they make a faux pas, you know, you're going to, you know, and, uh, oh, you know, you got your definition of what a republic is wrong, you know, in that last tweet you did, and they say, I did not, uh, you know, but, uh, what I meant was, M equals EC squared, mass is energy, energy is mass, don't you know anything, son? <laughs> That's what a lot of people do. But what you want, you know, for people that are really enjoyable to be around, is, you know, someone up there on the stage who says M equals E C squared, you go, ah, whoops, I'm in E equals M C squared. I think I'm getting Alzheimer's. <laughs> and I'm only 22. <laughs> yeah, because then that's a funny guy, you know, and you want to hear that guy more. The other guy that, you know, digs in when you find him, you know, when everyone's going to make a mistake sometimes, you know. Um, you know, and, and some people dig in, you know, like, because it's, they're the expert of that area, you know. So, one way or another, they're right. And even if they have twist and twist like that physicist did before, you know, and say mass is, it might, you know, I, I, I defined M 
to represent energy, and I defined E to represent mass on this occasion because I was testing you to make sure that you were awake and that you weren't hanging by the apron springs, strings, <laughs> springs. See, I made a mistake there, that's funny. By the apron strings of symbolism. The symbolism. Symbolism, yeah? See, I'm making mistakes all over the place and I find that funny. But the only reason for that is uh, because I'm getting Alzheimer's. But Murray Walker, you know, Vale, he was a funny guy and he was really listenable. I like that guy.